up all my five fans so we also got some interesting news developing you know we already talked about the fact that alex Pereira is actually moving up to the 205 div division the light heavyweight division um and in recent developments they were talking back and forth with each other i'm talking about alex Pereira and jamal hill the champion jamal hill and is that a possibility for International Fight Week? You got to wonder. You know, there's actually two pay-per-views, I believe, in July. But they're still waiting for that big International Fight Week um, promotion to be happening. That one, not the promotion, the fight to happen. I believe they usually try to do three. Sometimes they'll do two. Right now, there is two. Um, but I feel like that fight, I feel like it still needs a main event. And I feel like if Volkanovski and Rodriguez... Or the headliner, I just don't feel like it being the perfect headliner. You know, it just, to me, it doesn't sound like, you know, uh, the main event. It just doesn't really feel like that to me, in my personal opinion. No disrespect to those guys. But nonetheless, um, let, I just want to ask you guys, could this potentially be the, the main event with um, Pereira versus... Um, Jamal Hill, because you got to wonder what's going on in the light heavyweight. You know, Jamal Hill won the championship before over Glover Teixeira back at um, January. So now he's going on what two was about three months now. Um, and there's no word regarding whether or not he's fighting. You know, there was but potential of him fighting um, Yuri Prohashka, who got hurt and cannot fight. So now we're wondering, is he going to be fighting soon? Because we haven't heard really no rumors or we haven't even heard no confirmation or no word whether or not this fight's actually going to be taking place, whether it's going to be taking place any soon, whether or not Yuri Prakashka is actually next in line. You know, we haven't heard any recent developments. We haven't heard about his injury, what's going on, any recent updates. We haven't heard nothing. So we got to wonder who's going to be fighting for that lightweight, light heavyweight strap. You know, there's actually a few people already that um been booked up. You know, you got you got um Alex Smith um, excuse me Anthony Smith versus Walker. You got um Jan Blachowicz who and Ankalaev who already fought to a draw. You know, and of course you got Yuri Prohashka who's out. So you kind of wonder like, and eh, what's actually that big star um studded matchup that we can actually see? And I think other than that, other than the fight that I just mentioned, Alex Pereira versus Jamal Hill, there really is nothing else out there really that really sucks in their teeth and, and it's like, hey, let's make this fight happen. I feel like Ankalaev and um, Jan Blachowicz should actually get a rematch with each other, even though regardless of whether or not one should have won the other, like, hey, you know what? You can't do it like that. Let's get these guys rematch and let them fight it out and let them make themselves a clear-cut winner. You got Anthony Smith um, against Walker, who's actually a very tough fight. I believe that's May 11th. So you never know. Maybe they could. Maybe we're just waiting for that fight to take place, and then maybe Anthony Smith would just get a hundred percent, or Walker to get an actual title shot. You never know. Johnny Walker. I keep. Excuse me. I keep calling him Walker. Johnny Walker. You never know. So that actually could potentially be a number one contender fight right there. So that actually makes a lot of sense too. But you know, with Pereira and Jamal Hill talking trash to one another on social media, which is the go-to place for most play, most fighters. Um, I could potentially see that being a matchup as well. You know, we still need a pay-per-view uh, main event headliner, I personally feel, for International Fight Week. Um, there's other cards that's going to be filled as well, so we can't let the rest of the year go on by and wait for people to heal. Jan, um, Jan Brock, oh, excuse me, um, Yuri Prohashka is what um, mostly I'm talking about at the moment. You know, hopefully he does heal. Unless hopefully he's not rushing it because, hey, a shoulder injury is no nothing to mess with. And you don't want to come in half um, half healed. You know, you want to be at your best because you're, you're fighting the best in the world. So yeah, I personally do not know. I hope we do get a, um, some kind of heads up soon. Something tells me we're not going to get that heads up until we, that Johnny Walker and, uh, Anthony Smith fight does happen. So Hey, you never know what happens. You never know what's going to be made, but I do find it very interesting with Alex Pereira moving up to light heavyweight. And it actually be, I can see a lot of potential fun matchups up there for him. So guys, let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, hit the notification button. And always, I'll see you next time.